Like, t tell me how you can start with the construction a little bit. Okay, so it's made up of um, like six solid wood blanks. Um, there's three walnut pieces, or four walnut pieces. The first is here, here, one for the neck, and another one for the neck and the head. And then one piece of fur for the top part, and um, and how did whatever you, were they is. filled, or did you have to cut They them were off? completely solid lumber. And how did you get the shape? Did you just I cut it? I cut out the outside with a jigsaw before uh, stacking them and gluing them, and then I carved out the inside and carved out the outside. But how did you design it? Um, I based it on the designs for Rabab and Sarov, but I changed the shape up here based on um, how much material I had. And how did you know what it was going to look like? Did you model it? I put it through a 3D modeling program and built the whole thing in there before I transferred all the patterns out. And t talk us about the skin. Like, what's the skin? So this is just parchment made of goat skin like other Indian instruments. Um, it was wetted and then glued around the sides, mm -hmm. um, and when it dries, it stretches and hardens. And what about the neck? What's the aluminum and the copper it looks like? So there's a copper plate that is removable so I can put new strings on, and then this is a, it's an old sign for someone's business that I found at a salvage store. Um, that's where the aluminum is, and then this is just half round glass. And small tacks. And that copper you cut yourself and yeah, the everything holes? was cut myself except the tuners. So what? And what about the the bridges you made? Like what didn't you make? I did not make the tuners, and uh, I didn't prepare the goat skin. And everything else you cut from metal or wood yeah. and carved yourself. Cool. Um, and talk a little bit about the like what are these strings coming off here? What are so the four there strings? There are four and... playable strings. Um, it's tuned to C, F, B flat, and E flat. Uh, so in fourth, starting from C. Um, these four strings here are the first um, and the main sympathetic or drone strings. So these are tuned exactly the same as these, um, except. So a what's a, of them what's are a not drone right string or a sympathetic? So string? when the idea is, if you have two strings that are tuned to the same note, if you pluck one, the other will vibrate. So it's kind of like um, pre-electronic reverb. Yeah, it kind of gives that reverb sound because it, there's a little bit of a delay uh -huh. from when um, you pluck one string to when the other one's a vibrate. Cool, why don't you play first? Let's see what it sounds like. Did you expect it to sound this good when you made it? I had no idea how it would sound, but I figured it probably wouldn't sound great because um, of my experience with Western classical instruments, which are very, very finicky. And what about, like, how did you know where the notes are and how long to make the neck and all that kind of stuff? Well, I know where the notes are mostly because of my ear, but I, there's a recursive equation I use to when designing it to figure out how long to make the neck. Mm -hmm. um, and you basically, you just take the distance from here to here and divide it by about 18, and then you get the note, the distance from this to the first note, and then you can get rid of that and do from here to here. Very, uh, very, very cool. Okay, and what do you call it? It does not yet have a name. It's the instrument with no name? Yes. <laughs> oh, you need a name.